Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run an existing React project from Visual Studio Code Terminal, also known as VS Code Command Line. So let's get started. So here I have my Visual Studio Code open on the left hand side and my Chrome browser on the right hand side. And currently it's localhost empty blank page that's broken. So nothing's running there. I already have an existing React project on my hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and find it. So to do that in VS Code, I'm going to go to File menu and then open folder. Then I'm going to scroll down to my C drive, which is where my React project is. I'm going to go down to Projects folder. So here it is, Projects folder. So here I have my JavaScript, TypeScript, Python projects from all of my other tutorials. I'm going to go ahead and select React. Now I'm going to go inside that folder and click on the actual project folder, but don't double click to go inside. Instead, click on the select folder button. Doing that in Visual Studio Code will actually open your React folder as a project. Now here, as you can see, I have a very simple React app consisting of one component. And basically all it does is say how to run React app from terminal. It should probably say in Visual Studio Code. Now to actually run React, in Visual Studio Code from Terminal, go ahead and go to the Terminal menu on top over there and select the New Terminal option. So this will open a new terminal in Visual Studio Code in your project folder. So you don't even have to navigate there from the command line. So where are the launch scripts? Let's go ahead and go into package.json file. Here we have dependencies, but over here under scripts, we have start, build, test, and inject. We don't need build, test, and inject. So let's focus on the start. Here you can specify set port, which is 8080 in my case. Then the end and character and React scripts start. So this is what's going to run when we call our npm command from the terminal. And so let's go ahead and type npm start because that's the name of our script here and hit enter. So once you launch this, you'll see set port 8080. That's the line that we had seen previously and starting the development server. Now, if all goes well, your app will automatically open in your browser in a new tab. And here you see how to run React app from terminal and Visual Studio Code. That's the text we got from our component here, which means that our React app is running the browser. So here I just changed the text to VS Code and it has also automatically updated in the browser.